Is this your king? YouTube, what's happening? What's the deal? Welcome to another episode of Top Pops. It's the one and only Eddie Enslow. And uh, first off, happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there who do right by the kids, their wives and girlfriends, you know, who are protectors for their families. You guys, I salute you. If I can describe today, it would be epic. I did go see The Incredibles 2. Although I enjoyed it, I really liked the first one better. And if I can describe today's haul, um, epic. So without further ado, let's get into these reviews. First stop was Toys R Us. Now my Toys R Us has the percent off at 60 to 70 percent. And I can't lie, the Toys R Us I was in was a ghost town. I mean, there was there was a lot of people in there, but as far as like what they had on the shelves, I mean, it was a ghost town. But I ended up finding something that stood out. And when y'all see this, y'all are gonna be taken back to a simple time. From the WWE Retro Series, Seth Rollins. What can you say about this figure than dope? Now, these are the figures, wrestling figures, that I actually grew up on. So, to, to see this, wow. Now, I'll let y'all get a good look at it. I am a fan of these figures right here. Because like I said, I grew up on them. I actually have a Bret Hart out of package that my mom bought me when I was like six or seven years old. So, yeah. What can you say? Found this in Toys R Us. Five dollars. Why not? If you can find this in a Toys R Us before it closes... Pick this up. Next stop was actually inside the mall at a at a GameStop. Now GameStop has a special where you can get buy three, get the fourth one free. As far as their uh, pops, and I had to participate in this because with everything that has just come out within the last month or so. What more can you say? First off, we have from the new WWE Wave, Sergeant Slaughter. A tin hut. And I really like this. As a matter of fact, my man Howard is about to help me out. Howard! Bam! Love it. Y'all get a good look at it. He's got sunglasses, the hat, the, uh, the riding crop. He's got his trademark, you know, shoes on. Now, for you wrestling historians. Now, if they could have curled the boots and did the uh, Iraqi sympathizer Sergeant Slaughter as possibly a chase variant when he went on his heel run in, in the night in the, I think early 1990. Yeah. But this is dope. Uh Yes, Sergeant Slaughter was a heel has actually been a heel 
you know, a couple times in his career. But he's, you know, mostly remembered for what he did to the Hulkamania t-shirt. If you have not seen that, check it out on the uh, on the WWE Network. Shameless plug. But this is dope. I really like it. Uh, Pop, excuse me, Stashpedia has this listed at an estimated value of $11. And this is the first time I've actually seen the, the new wave in my area. So if you are a fan of the, the old school wrestling and you see this, make sure you pick it up. My journey in GameStop. <laughs> All I got to say is I saw this and I cracked up. From Pee Wee's Playhouse, the man himself, Pee Wee Herman. And I, I, there's nothing more I can say to this. As a matter of fact, my man Howard is going to help me out. Howard! Bam! Appreciate that assist, Howard. Wow. <laughs> and I love the fact that he has the fun sign right there. I just think that is hysterical. I I just couldn't resist. I had to get this. Uh, the trademark Pee Wee Herman suit. He's got his little hair spiked up in the front. I think that's really dope. That's a really cool touch. Uh, Stashpedia does not have a listing on this. But... If you are a fan of Pee Wee's Playhouse and you watch the show as, you know, when you were growing up, make sure you pick this up. Still hunting through GameStop. And this was actually the first thing I grabbed today. Uh, and this is actually my very first Pop Rides. Um, the man, the myth, the mark with a mouth. Deadpool on his scooter. What more can you say? And what more can you say? This is epic. If you haven't seen Deadpool 2, this is pretty much a spoiler. He does ride a scooter in the movie. And uh, I'm going to throw it to Howard. <laughs> this is awesome I love this and like I said this is my very first pop ride um wow is all I can say nice little detail he's got the uh katana right here on the back uh if you look closely he's got the hold on sign the uh I heart chimichanga sign this is just dope. Like I said, this is my very first pop ride. So, and for them to fit this in a regular size box is beyond itself. Um, according to Stashpedia, they have this guy listed at $19. So, not bad. If you see this in Hot Topic, GameStop, FYE, local comic book stores and you are a fan of Deadpool make sure you pick it up the grab in, in uh, GameStop was actually something I was really looking for uh, from the 8-bit line in E3 I give to you the Black Hole Bomb Mega Man wow Wow. Wow. This, again, I know a lot of people don't like the 8-bit pops, but this fits. This definitely fits. And, uh, Howard, help me out here. Appreciate that assist, Howard. Uh, wow. Got the hand cannon, ready for action. This is a 2018 E3 exclusive. 
and I really like it. Now I know again, a lot of people do not like the 8-bit pops, but this was, it was worth it. According to Stashpedia, this comes in at an estimated $35. Man, not bad for a E3 exclusive. And this is actually the first E3, E3 exclusive they they've done it. I think this is the first time they've actually had pops at E3. So, yeah, definitely worth it. If you see it in GameStop, make sure you pick it up. I managed to make a pit stop in Hot Topic. Three for 27. Had to do it. And I saw this and had to get it from Deadpool Pandable and I like this I think it's really dope kinda wish they had the chase but I can live with it and uh Howard I'm gonna throw it to you one more time I know you're tired Howard but I appreciate the assistance. Pretty dope. I, I like it. Stashpedia has this at an estimated $18. Not bad for a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, like I said, I wish I had the chance to get the flock chase, but I was talking to the girl at the register and I'm pretty sure that my local Hot Topic didn't get any. Which is weird. But it is what it is. But it's pretty cool. I like it. Definitely like it. Um, ain't too much to say about it. I mean, he's got the claws. He's got the... You know, just a... Just a really cool variant of Deadpool. Uh, if you see this in Hot Topic, make sure you pick it up. Another reason why I wanted to go in Hot Topic today is because I actually missed out on the release of these. So, from Disney, it's Squirrel Man. Doug. Love it. I got beef with this box. I get it. Disney bought Doug from Nickelodeon. The box should say Nickelodeon, not Disney. That's the only thing I'm upset about it. But I mean, this is a cool pop, and I, I like it, you know. And I grew up on Doug. I know a lot of y'all did. I mean, what more can you say? Howard, one more time. I get it, Howard. You're, you're tired. I understand. But just bear with me. This is... It's pretty dope. Quote, oh, man. Got the cape. Got the underoos on the outside. The belt. His hair. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I really like this. Uh, Stashpedia has Quail Man here at an estimated $15 so again not bad it's pretty dope what more can you say about it it is a Hot Topic exclusive so if you're a fan of uh, Doug just like I am and you're a Hot Topic and you see this make sure you pick it up final grab of the day you can't have Quail Man without Quail Dog Hot Topic exclusive love it absolutely love it power last time for the win that's it Howard uh, you you did your job tonight you definitely get the get the thumbs up dope definitely love it uh, again quail dog 
you see the cue, you see the cape, you see the belt. My man Pork Chop is is definitely it. Uh, it's actually pretty small. Stashpedia has Quail Dog at an estimated thirteen dollars. So again, not a bad value. Uh, if you see this a hot topic, pick it up. Quick recap of today's haul, and as you can see, I got a little bit of everything. We've got the retro uh, Seth Rollins figure. We got Sergeant Slaughter, Pee Wee Herman, Deadpool on a scooter, the E3 2018 exclusive uh, Black Hole Bomb Mega Man, the Hot Topic exclusive Panda Pool, Hot Topic exclusive Quail Man, and Hot Topic exclusive Quail Dog. All in all, great haul. And that was today's haul. I can't lie, it's late as I'm filming this right now. It's a little bit after midnight, really tired. I'm stumbling over my words. But, you know, it's for the culture. We are getting really, 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 really close to uh, the San Diego Comic-Con. And I'm definitely waiting on them to announce stuff to kind of, you know, pick and choose what I can get. Um, it's, you know, this is a time of year that us hunters and collectors, this is, this is what we thrive on. So we're definitely looking forward to it. Um, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, super kick that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, share. As always, I'm Eddie. Y'all be blessed. And I'm going to bed. Super kick!